During Steve's recent visit to Boston, Tim had the chance to talk with him, and he asked Steve which roles he'd rather land. I just want to do good work. I mean, whatever comes about, comes about. I think that a lot of uh, people say, oh, I don't want to do any more of this, I don't want to do any more of this. But um, I think the only thing that really matters is doing good work. I mean, if I did movies that make people laugh in the next 30 years, I'll be fine. If I do movies that touch people, that's fine. Just, just want to do good work, good stage. Don't you think yeah. you have to kind of go one way or the other, though, that, that, that it's very difficult to be a serious actor in one film and a comedic actor in the next one? Don't you really have to go in one direction or another? I think the audience makes that choice for you, yeah. They, Sometimes don't want to. I mean, seeing Richard Pryor maybe as a serious role would be hard. Yeah, yeah. I think that we all pigeonhole things, you know. What about the uh, the new role in Police Academy? Uh, uh, is this a is is this a character that challenged you in ways you hadn't been challenged before? Yes, it was challenging because I think he grew from a guy who didn't care mm -hmm. about what he was doing in life to a guy who really did have some purpose to life. It's, but it's not that kind of movie. It's not a movie that you're going to come across with a message or, you know, it's not... What is it, action? It's I mean, fun. Is it meant it's, to be an action movie? It's comedy. He's really just kind of a kind of free spirit. And then he gets some discipline in the police academy. You played a character who was ambivalent about the police academy, and your father is a policeman, right? Was a policeman. Was a policeman. And you didn't know really how you felt about being that involved in a police situation when you went into the role, did you? Right. No, I didn't. Well, what was your reaction? What did you find out? Oh, police. Oh, I, well, I went to the police academy for about a week before the movie started. And uh, I found out that they were, they were really well trained. Talked to my father a bit about it, you know, which was good. I really got a little closer to my father because we talked about the academy, which was terrific. Uh, yeah, these cops are really well trained. You, can't mess with them. Is there anybody in the business that you pattern yourself after? Any actor that you really admire? I think Nicholson is a really great actor. How would you feel if you were cast in a role with Nicholson? What would you say to him the first day that you met? Hi, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would you be a little intimidated? Sure, you're always a little intimidated, but once you start working, then you, you notice uh, the work. I had an interview with Dustin Hoffman, and I didn't get the role for Death of a Salesman, but I was really nervous before that, then I thought he's just a man, you know, flesh and blood. So, yeah, you're always a little nervous before, but once you meet him, it's okay. Being in the film the day after, did that have a political or emotional effect on you with all of the discussion that's around you? I don't think there'll ever be a war, because it's, uh, whoever starts it, uh, it's all over. I mean, even if we destroy the United States or Moscow gets destroyed, Russia gets destroyed, there's still satellites up there with missiles on them that even if the whole country is wiped out, they'll still go off and wipe out the other country. You're living out in Los Angeles now, and you're, you're really kind of on a roll. You've got some hot films going. Uh, yeah. A lot of young actors want to be in the situation that you are. Does it feel like you thought it would feel like? It's a good question. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Everything's kind of different than you think it would be. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of glamorous, but it's not glamorous. Maybe sometimes it's not as glamorous as I thought it would be. What's the downside? But I've not really got that. I haven't gotten there. I mean, I don't think I'm famous or anything. What's the downside of it? What do you like least? Not working. I don't like not working. Mm. I like to work. But when you don't, you don't have anything to do, any good role or anything, you're not working. So that's really hard. You seem, Steve, just a little bit uncomfortable with being singled out because you're in movies. But as your career progresses, if you get bigger and bigger, people are going to treat you more like a star. How are you going to deal with that? I don't know. I just, I don't know. But I think I'll just stay the same, just, just regular. You know, just do my job and hope people like it. And uh, well, I think that's part of the, you know, if you're a doctor and you're in, having a, a dinner at a restaurant and someone starts choking at the next table, it's your obligation to get up there and, and uh, help them. You know, you, or has a heart attack or something, you got to help them. You can't say, well, I'm eating my dinner. So I think if the bigger you get and people come up to you and say hello, they want your autograph, that's part of the job. You know, I don't think you can say, no, no, I'm, no. I think there's, you know, people shouldn't barge into your home, but yeah, I think uh, there's certain certain amount of responsibility with your position.
It's all right. I don't really think about that, though. It's all right as long as they don't ask you to get up in the middle of a restaurant and start acting. Right. Well, I'm sure, you know, you get that, too. You know, people, ask me a question, ask me a question. <laughs>